Hey guys, Eman here. Uh, I just I've just been playing around with React Native, so I just wanted to show you this app I built using React Native, Redux, and Socket.io. I'll be doing a series of tutorials on how I created the app. The, the app actually comes with the driver's app also, but I'll only be focusing on the passenger app. But for those of you who don't know what React Native is, uh, React Native is an open source JavaScript library for building user interfaces. React Native allows you to build mobile apps using JavaScript. So with React Native, you're not building hybrid apps with HTML5 because those hybrid apps, they look weird and they 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 don't feel the same as native apps if you have seen them before because it's just like a web page running on your phone so react native compiles your code your javascript code into the respective os that is android it will be java and for ios it will be it will be objective c so let me not waste your time let me just show you how the app works so let me just refresh this okay so the user comes and enters their pickup location if you have used uber or grab or lyft i'm sure you've seen this before and you enter your drop off location and it will give you the fare then you click book and it will pros start processing your request so it will send a request to the drivers app we are using socket.io so the driver will click confirm on the app then you can see the driver's details and their distance from where you are you click next then you start to track your driver using socket io the driver's app will be sending like real time location every time so that's it guys i hope you like the video i'll be doing other tutorial I'll be doing tutorials on how I build this app and other tutorials also on Vue.js, React.js for web etc. So if you like, please subscribe. I will talk to you later. Bye. Have a great day.